All right, guys, so today we are back with more Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but we are in the end game. We are officially two sequences away from the finale of this game. And I've got to be completely honest. I am both very excited and very emotional because I think this might be my favorite AC game. And hear me out. I don't think it's because Edward is a better character than Ezio. I think that Ezio overall is a better character. His story is more, it's much deeper, much richer. But I love Edward's freedom. I love that he's a pirate and I love just the setting of the game. There's so many things about this game to love. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how this ends, but it's definitely right there with AC2. I think AC2 was just an almost near perfect game considering for its time, you know, just storytelling was fantastic. But uh, I think we are supposed to go this way now. If we follow the mini map or whatever the hell this is, the compass, we are inside the Abstergo facility deep, deep down inside. Wait, are we going the right way? I don't, I don't think we are. Dude, I guess this game has taken a crazy turn of events. All right, listen, I'm entering the server room now. When you see us leave, get in there. Act the camera. Control panel. Desmond Miles. So, mind you, we still haven't seen this guy that talks to us. We haven't even... We don't know who he is. He's just a voice. For all we know, he could be setting us up, you know? Sorry. Am I taking too long here? My apologies. Hmm. Ooh, very close. Come on, damn it. There we go. 7.35. There's no need for you to be down here by yourself, Miss LeMay. My team will handle the investigation. But you need an extra set of eyes on this thing, John. We don't even know when the hacker's broken. It could take weeks to go through this data. One, at most. Still too long. Dude, what if he's the hacker? Legally, you can. It's what they signed up for, even if they didn't read their contracts. Yes, of course. I just hate the idea. So what's the next step? My team is processing the data now. We'll start sifting through it tonight. Scout's on her. Coffee's on me, okay? Dude, what if he's... I mean, he is a hacker. What if we're just being used? God, I don't, I, I have a bad feeling about this. I have a real bad feeling about this. All right. I ditched her at the coffee stand. <laughs> Find a server containing the network log. Since I have a record of each and every one of your hacks, we'll just search for the timestamps on those and turn that data into something harmless. Easy as that. Whoa. Ah, here we are. Beautiful. I'll update your communicator one more time. A little program I cooked up just for this purpose. There we go. I think that worked. Try it out. So some of you guys are telling me that this game's universe is connected to Watch Dogs universe, which I thought was really cool. here perfect 1029 bypassing standard security measures 
accessing server data. Remote computer available. Initiate remote hacking. Bro, we're gonna die. <laughs> we're gonna freaking die here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, God. Okay. Perfect. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Got it. Access granted. Connection successful. What? The dawn of the deadly 18th century. Rogues and sailors band together to live their lives by the sword. With no laws or morals, no gods and no fear. Only betrayal, mutiny, cruelty, and debauchery. There is plunder to be found on golden beaches. Will you risk life and soul to fight the pirates of nightmares? Benjamin Hornigold, Calico Jack, Charles Bain, and Blackbeard? <clears throat> oh shit, <laughs> that's cool. The age of cutthroats. Too weak, and I am spread thin. Unfocused, like static and fog. What? Wandering in networks and nodes, the nervous system of the world. Can you hear? Perhaps the temple was open too soon, but this was not by choice. The cataclysm pushed all doubt aside. <sighs> we bless poor Desmond. Who gave his life so that you, the children of our labors, would live on to fulfill your purpose and ours in mine. But now is not the time. My strength is not sufficient to inhabit an organic vessel. There is more work to do, more samples to acquire, more artifacts to find before my will can obtain. What's happening? Tell me! Make me whole again, my children. My instruments. Bring me forth to fulfill your purpose. Tell me! No, no, no! Something's wrong! God damn it! She should be here! Now! Living in that goddamned head of yours! Fuck, 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 fuck! Why did she spare you? Why are you still here? I freaking knew it, dude! Bro! What a piece of shit! He was trying to use us! Wow! I mean, I freaking called it! My God. That was actually borderline creepy, man. Let's, let's get back to our pirate ways. A little bit spooked. The charges, sir, I'll hear them again. My Lord, His Majesty's court contends that the defendants, Mary Reed and Anne Bonney, did piratically, feloniously, and in an hostile manner, attack, engage, and take seven certain fishing boats. Secondly, this court contends that the defendants lurked upon the high seas and did set upon, shoot at, and take to certain merchant sloops, thus putting the captains and their crews in corporeal fear of their lives. Edward James Kenway, born of motley parentage in Swansea. 
to an English father and Welsh mother. Married at 18 to Miss Caroline Scott, now estranged. She's a beautiful woman, I am told, but not at all well these days. If you touch her, you bastards, I'll... Quite a surprise finding you here rotting in a Jamaican prison. We heard rumors that you had taken up with the pirate Roberts. If you know the observatory's location, tell us now, and you'll be out of here in a flash. Rogers can hold these British hounds at bay, for a time. But this will be your fate if you fail to cooperate. You, Mary Reed and Anne Bonny, are to go from hence to the place from whence you came, and from thence to the place of execution, where you shall be severally hanged by the neck, till you are severally dead, dead, dead! Oh, Ross! May God in his infinite mercy be merciful to each of your souls! We're pregnant! Do you all hear that? What the devil did she say? They plead their bellies, my lord. Aye, you can't hang a woman quick with child, can ye? Quiet! Quiet! If what you claim is true, then your executions will be stayed, but only until your terms are up. Then I'll be up the dock the next time you come knocking. <laughs> Remove them! Wait, they lie completely, obviously. What the heck is going on here? What's your name? Four months later? It's Walpole, ain't it? Walpole? Where'd you get that? Well, that's the rumor going round. As dirty and daft a pirate as ever sailed these West Indies. Well, whatever his name, gotta make sure he suffers without dying. Orders from the governor. And back to the prisons at sundown. And massage his feet if he's aching, shall I? Jesus. A shit detail as ever was. Can't they kill the bastard? Ain't been a good hanging for months, not since Wreckham got his. Hey, hard to understand how it works. I've heard it said they scooped up Captain Vane near a year ago. But he's not seen the end of the run. Hey! Oi! You stop that! Oh! 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 Yes! Yes! <laughs> Good well, morning, Captain Kenway. I have a gift for you. Do not mistake my purpose here. I have come for Anne and Mary, and you owe me nothing for this. <sighs> but if you would lend me your aid, I can promise you safe passage from this place. I'll need weapons. You are comfortable with this, I am told. We must hurry. Oh my god. Yo, let's go. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Well, we are in a Jamaican prison, man. Hold on, let me uh get some of the goods here. As you may know, I'm a sucker for goods. Okay, let's see. See how we can approach this. We are in a restricted area indeed. Yes, sir. Can we take these guys out? I can't take both of them out. Okay, so I will make sure that these guys... Yes! You bastard. You freaking bastard. All right, I'm going to get rid of that bell. The only thing is, in order for me to do that, I'm going to have to get rid of this guy here. There's a lot of guards in this spot. Jesus Christ. Stop that. That's fine. Sometimes you want these guys to come. Back here. Oh. Oh. He thinks he 
and get away. He's licking it. Nice. Okay, he did. Okay, there's a guy looking this way. There's so many guards here, it's actually kind of ridiculous. Oh my god, I didn't see this one. How many guards do we have? What the hell is this? Okay, we should probably actually take out that bell, huh? Yeah, let's go over there. I think we're good. Oof. Oh, freaking hell, how do we do this? There's so many guards here. Are we going the right way? <gasps> oh, this guy saw this guard dead. No long dead. The one dead vessel wrought in hellfire. <laughs> you there, hold! I have the push your bomb pot. Oh my goodness. I forgot I, had, I should probably put these guards in the bush. What do you say? Just in case. Yeah, let me grab these guards. You just never know. <laughs> Throw them inside a bush. I don't want any unwanted conflict right now. Should probably also loot them up because if it wasn't for the sleep darts, I'd be screwed. Thank God I had sleep darts. I'm gonna loot this one more. Okay, no darts for me. Okay, so we're gonna head this way instead. Oh my God. Reach the prison entrance. Well, we're probably going to have to stay. Hmm. Let me see. Can I climb in here? Yes, I can. Perfect. Yes, this is perfect. Come on. Go away, buddy. Go away. There's nothing for you here. Except death! <laughs> Freaking piece of crap! Gotta hate these guys. Oof. Nothing here. There's nothing to see here, bucko! Alright, so the entrance is down there. Holy crap. Come on. I dare you to come into the bush. The bush of death. Alright, are these guys looking back here? Stop it. Perfect. Just wanted to get his attention, that is all. You call Assassin's Creed 101. Okay, so now I'm going to pick up his body. Very disrespectfully. <laughs> I'm going to throw him in there. Okay, I'm going to wait for this guy to come back and then leave. And then I'm going to go inside. Or probably go through the back. Yeah, I think through the back. 
There's too many of them there. Possibly could be through here, maybe. Yeah, this is in fact the prison. Here we go. Perfect. Oof. Oh my god. coming up or not I'm gonna grab his body because you just never know you never know if these see I told you I told you I told you Oh my god! Unfortunately for you guys, I am the ultimate assassin. And I had some uh, smoke bombs. <laughs> if it weren't for the smoke bombs, uh, I'd be fucked. Now, you know what? I probably don't even have to worry about these bodies. Okay, where are you guys? Really? Really? stupid come on got a little surprise for you sir it's called death <laughs> all right so we're, we're, we're coming close to these guys Let's just make sure there's no other old friend in this hallway of cells. I don't think there is. I think Mary and Anne are also here. And you guys are nothing but dead. I'm going to loot these guys. They usually give me bombs and darts. I will make you guys go a little crazy first. Oh. Really? Okay. I don't know you were here already, man. If not, I wouldn't have wasted my damn dart. Mary? Mary, it's me, Edward. Edward? Who's this fella? It's all right, Anne. He's a friend. What's wrong with Mary? She's ill. And her child? They took her. No idea where. Oh! 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 I know it pains, my lady, but we must be silent. Can you walk? Uh, uh. 
wait. Lean on me, Mary. Come on. She pregnant for real? Search every cell. Come on, that's it. You're all right. Oh my goodness, what in the world? Bro, are you kidding me? Stop. Stop, please. I ain't leaving you, damn it. Lift your arm. Oh no. It's no good. No, come on, kid. Come on, this is this is kid. This is our pal. She's our pal. There's no one here. I don't even know him. Oh, way. Put me down, Edward. No, man, come on. been the one to outlast me I've done my part will you if you came with me I could Mary we'll be with you can we <laughs> oh my god I will what the fuck God. By the way, I couldn't find the other friend. I said to visit old friends, but I, I couldn't. I tried. I tried looking, but. Dude, this is so freaking terrible. Bro, y'all really want to play? Bro, y'all really want to fuck around with me right now? I really don't want to play with me right now. Y'all don't want to play with me right now. I'm dangerous. An emotional Connor is. I mean, an emotional Edward is a dangerous Edward. Sorry, wrong Assassin's Creed. I can't believe James Kidd died. Mary Reed. I'm sorry, Mary Reed. Was it Mary? Yeah. <laughs> What's happened to Mary? What's wrong? Is she gone? You haven't earned this, but they suit you. Good fortune to you, Edward Kenway. I can't believe she fucking died. 
I couldn't find the other freaking prisoner. And I think we're drunk here. We have a bottle of lick of alcohol in our hand. Which, yep, we are absolutely shit face wasted. Oh no, this guy's going, bro. His, our, I said it, dude. I mean, I predicted it. Our, our life has gone to crap. Bar. Bring a bottle. I see some color first. Will this do? In all your years out here, you could never achieve what I've done in one fifth the time. Because you're a good man, Edward, see? Goodness is your disease. That's my prize, Robert. I've given it here! Remember my creed, boy. A short life and a merry one, that is all. The world owes us nothing more than this. So take what you will, and then die before you live to see yourself made a fool. Give it here. That's right, boy, take it. I'll sweeten you, maggot. I'll cut you down! This can't be real. Calm, little puppy, and slink back to your kennel. You haven't the metal for my brand of madness. What? Robert! Welcome aboard, Kenway. It's prizes, plunder, and adventure ahead. Are you game? Out of my way, Ben. Raise a glass to freedom, lads. Here's to gentlemen of fortune and women of leisure. To a world full of rogues better than all the kings and queens that kick us about. As gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction, pleasure and ease, liberty and power. What man with a sensible mind would choose the former life? For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and, withdrawing them, find it's better to be a commander than a common man! Bro, it's so crazy how we had so many friends and allies along the way of this crazy pirate adventure, and they're all gone. It's so sad. It's, it's 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 like a Red Dead Redemption type of thing. Like you have such a big group, and you know everyone's so close. You know more in Red Dead Redemption than here, but everyone is so close, and then everything just goes to shit. And the sharks are eating all my friends. Why? They're eating all my friends. Oh, it's so sad. Kill all three of them. Okay. I thought I was gonna be like one of those where, depending on which one you decide, you get a different outcome or something. No more than two years. You promised me. You left. When I needed you the most. But you had me. Why keeps you wondering? Do I not make you happy? I'm so glad. 
close, Caroline. Please, just let me do this. Is everything you do I'll spy, Edward? It's not spite that's driving me, Mary. It's courage. Courage? But what, man? There's no one left in your life to care. God damn you all. I can handle this. What? Always oh, tearing down when you could be building things up. Or oh, building yourself up, if nothing else. Just leave me be! Change course, Edward! Change your bloody course before it's too late! Bro, what a trippy ass episode. Captain Kenway! You look like a ball of plum duff. Christ! Oh, I've got a head for ten. On your feet! Is this real or is this another dream? <laughs> you put me on the spot, Addy. After leaving me with Robert, I shall have hard feelings about seeing you here. But mostly I'm bloody glad. <laughs> me too, brother. And you'll be tough to know your jackdaw is still in one piece. So we set sail. You're leaving. Aye, Edward. But I have another calling elsewhere. Ade, listen. When your heart and your head are ready, visit the assassins. I think you'll understand then. Okay, so the DLC to this game is it where Ade, 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 whatever. I've seen pictures that he's an assassin. Is is what is that DLC all about? Because it does look pretty interesting. But now it makes sense. Maybe he got accepted by the Creed. All right, guys. So we're back at the Assassin Island. Uh, thankfully, I actually um, synced up here a while back. And as you can see, it just made my life a whole lot easier. And there is a lot of assassins here. I know last time we were here was during the nighttime, but being able to see them all now, like see the Creed, it's pretty cool. Jesus, Addy, what the hell happened here? You happened here, Edward. The damage you caused six years ago has not been undone. I'm not an easy man to call a friend, am I? Is that why you're here? To fight beside a man so driven by personal gain and glory is a hard thing, Edward. And I have come to feel the assassins and their creed a more honorable cause. Have I been unfair? No. For years I've been rushing around taking whatever I fancied, not giving a tinker's curse for those I hurt. And yet here I am, with riches and a reputation, feeling no wiser than when I left home. Yet when I turn around, look at the course I've run. There's not a man or woman that I love left standing beside me. There is time to make amends, Captain. Mary. Before she died, she asked me to do good by her. To sort out the mess I made. Can you help me? Now it makes sense why the DLC, this guy's the assassin. Mary was fond of you, Edward. She saw something in your bearing that gave her hope you might one day fight with us. Aye. She told me. And what do you think of our creed? It's hard to say. For if nothing is true, then why believe anything? And if everything is permitted, why not chase every desire? Why indeed? It might be that this idea is only the beginning of wisdom, not its final form. That's quite a step up from the Edor I met here many years ago. So what do you think? 
It'll take some getting used to. <laughs> the second attack this month, I should have moved this village long ago. I brought all this upon you years ago, but I will stand by you now. It will take more than a few favors to call yourself a true assassin, Edward. One thing at a time, mate. Oh shit! <laughs> rope dart. Why didn't you give me this earlier, man? Rope darts are equipped with a lethal grappling knife. Press Y while above your target to assassinate. What the hell? Aim at the enemy and press Y to drag them towards you. Then press. Only attack once more. Come. Malo. To the beach. Whoa. Yo, that's cool, dude. Oh, God, I wish I would have had this from the beginning. Oh! Hold on. I'll, I'll hang him later. Hold on. Come on, man. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna get on top of a tree now. No! Oh my god! God damn it! Oh my god, I wanted to use my little rope dart. <laughs> oh, so hold Y and pull your target towards you. Okay, okay, so that, okay, hold on. Is that like Scorpion? <laughs> Holy crap, that's awesome. Sorry, boys. But not today. Oh, that was too smooth. That was buttery, buttery, buttery smooth. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and sink up here while you guys fight your balls off. Hope you don't mind. It's just a future assassin doing assassin things. <laughs> What is all that noise? So I remember we couldn't come here. Um, we couldn't sing up, or at least we could have, but what I didn't because there was a bunch of guards um, last time we were here. And I could get that fragment, but I could also kill this guy in proper fashion. It's go time. I'm out. Excuse me. So I want to say this is what I've been thinking and maybe I'm wrong here, but what if Hatham Kenway, his son is already born or his wife is pregnant and he doesn't know it. Maybe he's just one of those dads that never met his son because he didn't know he had a son or I don't know. Maybe. At least right now in the story, he hasn't met him. So if, if, if he's alive or if he even has a son at this point. I'm just 
just gonna give you guys a little bit of action here. Why not? It's fun. Come on, boys. Can I kill the captain right away? Absolutely. Do I want to? Probably not. Hey. There we go. Oh, so they just keep spawning. Maybe I should just go. <laughs> I just looked at the mini-map and they... Like two of them just spawned back there. Probably not worth it. Sorry, dudes. Maybe, maybe another day. Oh, shit. Oh, God, man. Maybe I should have stayed stealthy. Can do this. Okay. Fuck it. I try to be stealthy, but I don't want to kill the captain just yet. Ah. Crap. I might have to kill you, Captain. I might have to kill you, Captain. <laughs> Bro, stop. No, don't kill the captain. No. I wanted to freaking use the rope to uh, kill the captain. Oh my man, freaking hell. Yanumuk Awoyetel Abishan. And once more, you have our thanks, Edward. You are welcome here. Thank you, sir. I'll rest here for a time before setting up, if I may. How's her child? She is a strong woman, but not invincible. Bird, man. I'm sorry for your loss. If I'd stayed in prison, they'd have taken him from me. He'd not be alive. Maybe this is God's way of saying I'm not fit to be a mother yet. Carrying on like I do. Cursing and drinking and fighting. You are a fighter, I. In prison, I heard stories of the infamous Anne Bonny and Mary Reed taking on the King's Navy together. Just a pair of you. It's all true. Anne would have won that day if Jack and his lads were passed out in the hold from drink. It's right. Everyone's gone, aren't they? Mary, Bracken. Touch. All the rest. I miss them so. Rough as they were. Do you feel that too? All empty inside. I do. Devil curse me. I love Edward, man. He's a good character. He's a good character. He's one hell of a freaking character, man. Oh, dude. I know my targets by sight well enough. But how will I find them? We have spies and informants in every city. Visit our viewers and the assassins there will guide you. That fixes Torres and Rogers. But Bartholomew Roberts won't be near any city. 
Might take months to find you. Or years. But you're a man of talent and quality, Captain Kenway. I believe you will find him. And if you're at a loss, don't be afraid to call on your quartermaster for aid. Quartermaster! That's our present course. Due west, Captain, if it's still Kingston we're sailing for. It is indeed, Miss Bond. Call it out. Weigh anchor and let fall the courses, lads. We're sailing for Jamaica. No <laughs> oh, shit. So feel the bark so loud. I've barked louder and to men twice as rough. Tending bar at the old Avery, you mean? Among other places. And I sailed with Mary and Rackham for a time, remember? Of course. Mary did most of the captaining, Jack did most of the drinking. Did Mary... Did she ever tell you who it was that fathered her child? It was a young fella. Sailed with us on that last voyage. Poor lad was killed fighting beside us. The only man not too drunk to stand up for himself. There was so much about her I didn't know. I called her a friend. But was I one in return? She thought the world of you, Edward. I have no worries about that. Well, that's good to hear. So I was actually thinking that her child was probably going to be Edward's. Um, maybe, you know, <laughs> you never know. But apparently, you know, her child died, so it, it can't be Haytham. Haytham. Kenway. <sighs> Dude, we are in the last and final sequence of this game that is so crazy guys we're gonna end it here expect the next one very very soon here on the channel oh my god this is gonna suck i'm gonna miss this game so much but uh it's gotta be done it reminds me of red dead redemption 2 kind of like the whole camaraderie a group of friends and everything starts going to crap but man one hell of a story one hell of a game again thank you guys and I'll catch you later.